Well, hey guys, it's uh, Monday. I'm back in my house, in my kitchen, at least for now. Gonna be in and out visiting my mom this season. I'm Lena, uh, so glad to have you here. I'm so excited about little things like the cinematic view. Sam loves it too, both of us always talk about it. But anyway, uh, making good use of my kitchen. Might as well use it as a prop. All right, guys, we are uh, doing these daily devotionals called Power Minutes. You can subscribe to them at livingwithpower.org slash Power Minute. And today's Power Minute is called Be Strong and Courageous. Welcome, by the way, if you're on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. We do these on Facebook on Mondays. So I've thought of stopping them. I'm like, do you guys really want them on Facebook? So if you're watching on Facebook, put me a comment. Say you want them. Otherwise, we'll just keep them on Insta and YouTube. You know, we've got to keep things fresh. Anyway, be strong and courageous. Joshua 1 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The promise of God's presence is the fuel for our courage. If you're facing an unknown future, then you understand what it means to feel afraid. Joshua was 90 years old and had already seen some great miracles, yet was still filled with fear after Moses died and he became the leader. Several times in Joshua 1, God encourages Joshua not to be afraid. Though God is aware that the way will be hard, he also knows that his presence will make all the difference. Victory is possible no matter the obstacles we face because he who is in us is greater than he who is against us. God doesn't just encourage Joshua to be unafraid. He commands him to be strong and courageous. Hey, what are you facing today that fills you with fear? Are there victories waiting for you to obtain if you could only overcome that fear? The promise of God's presence is just as real for you today as it was for Joshua thousands of years ago. So be strong and courageous. God is not about to leave you, not even for a moment. We are, man, if we've ever needed this message, it's now. So I'm going to let the devotional I wrote do the talking. Listen, don't be afraid. God is with you. And if you don't know this God, if you're like, what is she talking about? Can you email me at lena at livingwithpower.org? You can ask Christ into your heart today and experience the joy and the peace that comes from knowing him. Listen, uh, God is with you. Don't you forget it. We would love to pray for you. If you have any prayer requests or just want to rejoice in what God's doing in your life, email me as well. Have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow.